at all. If they are not born again and they are just secular men and secular women, let the Lord deliver them. Let the Lord set them free. I can't hear people pray. Brother, brother, we pray for all our, our youth. I pray by the power you will visit them with your salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. King of King, we pray for all our youth all over the world. King of King, we pray as the program is coming up, Father, we, we, we will visit them with your salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my dear Father, we pray for all our youth. What is it new? What is it? What we have never seen, oh my father, in visitation of the youth. Father, you will let it happen in that place that's going to be the center of the program in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 you will visit our youth. Oh my dear father, you will visit our Jesus youth. In the name of Jesus Amen. I, I think some of our leaders are not capturing what I'm saying. I work with the youth, even though I lead the church, but I work basically with the youth. I relate with the youth. I minister to the youth a lot. And then even this Wednesday, um, uh, I will still be ministering on sexual purity, even this Wednesday. And it was this same sexual purity message I handled November last year that a young man, a young boy, a young boy, uh, many of them gave their life, right? and a young boy later came up to open up to me, not that very day, at another day. And for what he opened up to me, I was shocked. I was shocked because I, I, I don't think I've ever had such a thing in my life since I was born. That a young boy like that, okay, he told me he was in another school before, he was in SS3. And then he also went further to, uh, to tell me how, you know, messed up his life, uh, you know, having a girlfriend in his class. And now the chemistry teacher who happened to be the elder sister of the girl, she was, uh, he was living and uh, messing up with or whatever. How that chemistry teacher also defied him. And then even the director wife of the school had to invite this young boy to the hotel and they messed up themselves. How do you explain such a situation from a classmate to chemistry teacher director wife? As I speak to you, you know, it's a complicated situation. How do you even do restitution of things like that? There are children, young people who have complicated their life in some developed world. They are making young people to realize that if they don't feel like having a relationship maybe with uh, men, or if they, they should accept them the way they are, if they are gay, let them accept that they are gay. Our world is in a terrible condition. I was ministering in another place, and they're doing constantly. A lot of young people came, and I discovered this issue of defilement. It's so much amongst young people. Among young people, a lot of defilement. A lot of people, young people, are so defied with masturbation and pornography. Pornography is one of major monster, monster that is destroying children. Even in deeper life, you will think that the children are safe until you minister and you preach a very hot message. Until you preach a very hot and powerful message, you will see the young people coming during constantly opening up their life. Then you will not discover a lot of them are in bondage. Bonded to pornography, bonded to masturbation, and the parents will not be aware. And they will think, oh, this child is following me to church. Want to pray that the Lord God of heaven, the monster, our children will be delivered from the monsters of the world. They are okay. monsters. Oh, Jesus Christ. They are monsters. They are monsters. They are monsters. a lot of children. They come to only their church, but they are not holy. They okay. want to that you will deliver them from the hands of the monsters in the world, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Everything that is working against mm -hmm. the youth of today, oh my the internet, oh my the, the, the things that they go through on their phone, or oh. just do the internet, and what they claim oh. of freedom oh, and this and that. Oh Lord, we pray that you will visit the children, O oh Lord, and this program there will be through conversion, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, the children, the youth, 
Unto you, I bring Kakam me unto you, I bring Toraya unto you. We will unfold them into the end in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be dwelling in your world, they will be swimming in your world, they will take your word seriously, they will be practicing your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will let them be defeated from away from your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Unfold them, mighty Father, I bring my children unto you, be with them in the name. Father, I cannot do it. I have no power of my own. No power. I have no power. Of all the people with me and the children of me. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. It was in a school in uh, Ondo State that a teacher was called. Ow, I was, I was, I was a teacher called. The teacher will be cutting the finger of children and then while trying to cut the finger, it will deliberately cause the hand so that there can be small blood that will come out. And they will use a special handkerchief or towel or something, special handkerchief, and to wipe the small blood. Uh, it's for a ritual purpose and all that. Until that teacher was caught, uh, because it was conniving with whether another teacher or somebody uh, somewhere. And thank God that that day, in the, in the teacher or a pupil and and that child had to report whether to the parent at home and all that something like that, and that's how that teacher was apprehended if I remember. So there are evil teachers, there are evil men, there are evil schools that will go. Just like I told you, that how can it be that a director wife can be defiling a, a child? And if that child had not told me, only God knew how many children must have been defined in such a school. And so we have a lot of polluted, dirty, licentious, promiscuous, and evil schools like that. And where children are just taught dirty things, taught terrible things. And these things, they, 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 they become polluted, and then you are doing only devotion is not entering their ears because they have been corrupted outside there. We are, we are going, going to, 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 to name of Jesus. My child is a prophecy and declaration. My child is a warrior. My Amen. child is different. My Amen. child is going to work for Christ. I'm praying already. I am praying and declaring over my own children. In the name of Jesus, the glittery things of this world will not defend my children. Father, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Bear on me and your sister. Bear on oh. me and your sister. You will oh. dominate oh. 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 You will leave oh. Jesus. Oh. So we both of you early. You will not escape from the bullet of salvation by oh. the Spirit of the Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will know the Lord early. You will live for God in the name of Jesus. You will protect purity. You will maintain purity. You will live for your God in the name of Jesus. The children of Belia will not corrupt you. The children of Donata will not corrupt you. The daughters of Jezebel will not destroy you. You will dominate 
your work for Christ? Are you praying for your children? You know, they so fancy in the name of Israel. Nobody bow and damn don't pray for my children. The spirit of Jabez, the spirit of the Delilah, will not fall upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't go pray for You know, I'm the issue of life. They will do well. The talent will not derail them. The evil ones will not over we pray. them. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray that your mighty hand will be mighty upon these children, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, glorify yourself. And in life of our children, glorify yourself. Amen. I will be stopping with this last prayer point. I'm a, I'm a bit strong. Um, I'm just trying to force myself to pray or lead prayer. I couldn't say, I couldn't deny leading, so I'm just trying to help myself. But I'm very, very strong. Now, we want to pray this last prayer. Uh, the prayer is going this way. Uh, our children, it's not only for spiritual, they need to also dominate their world academically. It's yes, not man. enough to have children who are good, who are sound spiritually, and academically, they are just empty headed fellow or nothing in the head. And like you know, what Yoba will say, uh, uh, or whatever they call it. No, our children will not be a real God. Uh, they, they will not be empty a dead fellow. You know, sometimes when I teach on children, they are wondering. Uh, please, let's listen. Let's listen, brethren. Or do that, pastors. Okay, let's uh, For those who are my uh, friends on Facebook, Pastor Matthew is my boss. Uh, 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 Hello, Pastor. <laughs> Okay, so and they, they have been seeing my post. Sometimes when I see some children, I'll be wondering what is actually wrong with this child brain? What is wrong with your brain? The simple thing you don't understand, small thing you don't understand. They teach and teach and teach and teach. What is really, really to look at me? So just wait. Okay. Let me, uh, so you have to begin to beg God for the end of some of them. Then I also want to ask you to like, oh, God, let my picture be like this. That my student has scored 334 in jam. He wrote Hello, that, how are you? That, and he had 1,050. 1, out of 1,600. And that's a child. And the parent had money. Of course, the father worked in share. But yet, he's very sound academically. So we want children who are sound, representing the, the school, going for competition. That young boy has won that many competitions, uh, that many gifts for the school, for the family, how many gifts, plenty of gifts. I want to pray. Our children pray. If you are close to your children, you lay your hands on them. Let God work on their brain. Let God transform their brain. In chemistry, God transplanting. In Luke, I do a transplanting. Sometimes I desire that my brain should be open. I should give them my brain. So that they uh, they can uh, then after throwing my brain to them and whether oh. they actually help them work on their own uh, something like that and I will, if it is possible then I will transfer my own brain to them and uh, so that they pass their exam quickly but it's not possible like that except by spiritual transplant so we can do a spiritual transplant tonight and then we transplant it and then father my child must no book it's a must my child brain must be open. You must know mathematics. Yes, yes, yes. You, you will know. Wrong with mathematician. It will become an engineer. It will be easy for them in the school in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are not going to pray for our children. Thank you, sir. And, and we rest for them. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. No book there. Thank you, sir. The in the but name of Jesus Thank you, sir.
Hello, sir. Let's pass on Matthew take over, please. I, Let's I'm continue. Let's of, uh, call upon children. the name of the Lord for those people who does not have children, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will give them the offspring in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for those people who are barren. Either in our church, those people who we are known, the one we do not know. Let me close the, the gate. The one we have been praying for. Yo, Bruce, God, 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 just, let, let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the yes. power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will give them their own offspring in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. 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 For those people who are barren. That by the power in the blood. No, lock it. I have key now. God will open their womb in the name of Jesus Christ. God Amen. will give them their children in the Sorry, name yo. of Jesus Christ. Like they will carry their own children too in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I know Pastor Michael is online. I know Pastor Ken is online. I know Pastor Shegun is online. Although Pastor Peter is not fully concentrated, I know he's online. And I know, yes, Pastor Remain, you may not know we just have a new baby. Uh, um, I was supposed to put it online. I've been so busy. Uh, we just have a new baby by the grace of the Lord. And the Almighty God will continue to bless us online, uh, all our family in Jesus' name. I know Pastor you may survive, although you may be little get tired. We have been there, we have been there together. You will think that I'm in data. Every minute I'm watching the world, but you need to congratulate us. At the long run, we have a baby girl. Uh, congratulations once again. Almighty God will continue to be with, uh, with everyone of us online in Jesus' name. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for all those people who are widow. Yes, they may be men, they may be women, but they have children to take care of. Pastor Shegun was sharing about a testimony, I mean, not a testimony, the tragedy that happened to his family. That he looked at the brother, he looked at the children, and he was like, oh God! How will this man fall? We call upon the name of the Lord for all those people who are widows. In my language, they will say, God is the husband of the widower. We will call upon the name of the Lord that Almighty God will be with all people who are widows in the name of Jesus Christ. God will be with them, God will be with their children in the name of Jesus Christ. You may know anyone you want us to pray for. You may know anyone that is coming to your mind. You may know anyone that you have been watching. You may know anyone that you have been looking at as a widow. Maybe you do you, because of what you or the other thing. You do not even pay attention. But God is open your eyes today. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, those people who are widow in your environment, those people who are widow in your school, in your in your day, yes, 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 yes. those people who are widow in, in, in your home, those people who are widow in the in the area, you know, that by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, King God, King Lord of Lord, that we believe the only one that can that can that can that can eat their own, God will be with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Their children will not suffer. 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 God will take care of them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will continue to provide for them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is not most important of this prayer we are praying. For some of us that are there, we know what we are saying. You know when somebody is a widow, it's a, it's a tragedy. It's a, like it, 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 it's like when the family is not in the union, just like that. Imagine this is kind of the example I want to bring on to you. The children they have to do two things in a day, and then it's only one parent, and he need to go to work, and they have maybe two or uh, two or three children or four, and all of them may have one assignment, they an outside school assignment in that day, and that man or that woman. 
need to do all the assignments, including going to work, including providing food for them. That's how we know that they need the grace of the Lord. Ah, recently, I think I was somewhere, and the doctor was asking, if the person that is married is asking him, what about your single parent life? Why? Because all the body is only on one person. And the doctor was looking at him. So there's a kind of the things we do are passing through. We will call upon the name of the Lord. And if you know any widow you want us all to pray for, yes, we will pray for them tonight. That by the power in the blood of Jesus in all areas, why buy? They always say it's my language. The way the shoe is plainly them in their leg. That by the power of the blood, God will heal it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for all the widow. The one you know, you the one you don't know, the one in the church. You know that? Yes! The husband of this person have died. The one you know in the church, you know, yes, the wife of this person has gone to eternity. And is he or she the only one that's carrying the responsibility? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That Almighty Father will shower his blessing upon the widow in the name of Jesus Christ. That King God King will shower his blessing upon the widow in the name of Jesus Christ. For all the widow in the church, for all the widow outside the church. For the widow we know, for the widow we don't know. But by the power and the blood of Jesus, everything we open for them in the name of Jesus Christ. King God King will have mercy upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. He will carry their responsibility for them. God will carry their responsibility for them. God will carry their responsibility for them. God will carry their responsibility responsibility for them. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray for all the parents that are wanting all the other that is shortcoming of taking care of the children. Ah, you know, I thank God God bless me with my language. So don't blame me. If I if, if I'm speaking my language, please just bear with me. One if baby baby Jacob Moja, can you count? Can you watch for me? You get what I'm saying? That the father is struggling, the mother is struggling, the children too. They now on that level of struggling. They have not seen. They have not seen life. They have not seen good job in their life. You will call upon the name of the Lord for every parent that are going through that. To send his children to school is a problem. To eat at home is a problem. <laughs> to do something for the children to make them extraordinary is a problem. But still, there has not been an open way for them to be healed, for that thing to be removed in the family. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. For all the parents that in that in that category, just because they know God, just because we bring them to God this, this evening, that by the power of the blood of God, God is going to open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. For all the parents, oh Lord, they are that in that category, that in that category, that to it become problem, that to, 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 to have money to pay the school fees become problem, that to have money to, to, to let the children enjoy their life become problem. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, where there's no way, where there's no way, where there's no way. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will have testimony upon their children. They will have testimony upon their life. They will have testimony upon their, upon their, their children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. You will not call, call the name of your son. Either you like it, you may call it out. Either you like it, you may call it in. Nobody, nobody bother. But I want you to pray a special prayer for your children now. And then I want you spiritually to be laying your hand upon them. Lay your hand upon them. That by the power in the blood of Jesus, they are going to prosper. Academically, they are going to prosper. Spiritually, they are going to prosper. In all areas of their way, they are even they, by the time they are going to get married. Yes! They are in fact now. By the time they are going to get married, they are going to prosper. They will not witness sufferness in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, pray for your children. Pray for your children. Asking who may I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything you lay your hand upon.
blood, you are going to prosper. By the power and the blood, among your brethren, you are going to prosper. And among the millions of people, you are going to prosper. By the power and the blood, in any area you go, you are going to be at the end in the name of Jesus Christ. So that you are, I pray for you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. You are going to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you go, your name will follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall be the head and not the tail. Almighty Father will be slain his hand upon you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you lay your hand upon, Today you shall be prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God will uplift you. King of King will uplift you. Almighty God will love to you. I bring you together, my children, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. In all areas of your life, you shall continue to be the leader. In all areas of your life, you shall continue to be the head. In all areas of your life, you shall continue to be an influencer to put it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not forget God. 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 The abundant mercy of the Lord will be upon you, my children, in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you go in the front, in the back, at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the right, at the left, Almighty God, King of King, you are going to see the mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. My children, you will receive mercy academically. My children, you will receive mercy economically. My children, you will receive, uh, you will receive mercy physically in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you go, the story of good things. Glory of God, I see. Glory of being a slave. Glory of being, 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 being the head. Glory of being a leader. That shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In our prayers, and then today by the grace of the Lord, we have been praying for individuals. And then I'm joining Pastor Femi uh, by the grace of the Lord now. And then uh, let me see his journey. His journey, his phone is journey. Let me see. It was his phone is journey. Because I've started this, this, this year by December that we are doing, we, that we are going to do Thanksgiving. It will be testimony galore in the life of every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Pastor Femi, uh, we can see you, Johnny. Uh, we want you to ask. Uh, we want to give you open check before the Almighty God today. What is what your concern? You what do you want us to pray for you? I'm, 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 by the power that we are agreeing together, there will be a change in the name of Jesus Christ. And then as we are saying this, I remember your testimony. I don't remember. I can't remember. Maybe it's a year last year or year before the last. When you are looking for promotion and the promotion came, or is it you or another brother? I can't remember vividly, but I know God is going to answer our prayer to, to this year too in Jesus' name. So, Pastor Femi, anything you want, brother, to come to, uh, to pray for you? And I was, we are praying. I want you to believe the power is changing hands, and whatever you ask today, by the power and the blood of God is going to do it in Jesus' name, Pastor Femi. Anything you want to We are waiting. I know it's online, except I'm seeing that the phone is phone is cut off again. Uh this one has cut off again. I'm seeing Pastor Ali. I'm seeing Pastor Shegun. I'm seeing uh, Pastor. I'm seeing myself in multiple places. And I'm seeing. Uh, what is that? Uh, Pastor Bassi. And I'm seeing Pastor Mike. So we have enough pastor on the line that we can pray together. I don't know why Pastor Femi called of again it may be as a result of the internet we call upon the name of the lord i remember he mentioned something about his wife i can't remember vividly that he's working in the anchor i don't know maybe want him to get transferred to or something university maybe they can be together i can't remember vividly but i remember that uh he mentioned a prayer request to pass off me is are you with us sir 
He has joined us. He has joined back. Pastor Femi, are you with us? Okay. If not, let's call upon the name of the Lord on his behalf, on the on his family behalf. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will pass everything concerning concerning Pastor Femi and his wife in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouths. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That anything, everything concerning him, concerning his family, everything concerning them, concerning them individually, everything concerning them, concerning them cooperatively, everything that concerning them, concerning their life, everything that concerning them, concerning their spiritual life, everything that concerning them, concerning their financial life, Everything that concerning them, concerning their physical life, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you pastor family and his family, hear the word of the Lord. God will breathe into your life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name. I want us to be serious. I want us to be praying as a somebody that is expecting testimony. I want us to be serious. I want us to be praying as somebody that want them to share testimony at the end of the year. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We have not forgetting what we pray for about Pastor Ali. We have not forgetting about what we pray for about Pastor Chegun. We have not forgetting what we pray for for all other people on the platform. And we know God is answering. And we make everything perfect before the end of the year in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for Pastor Femi for everything concerning him, concerning his wife. That by the power in the power of Jesus Christ, the Lord in Jesus' name, that God is going to perfect everything concerning concerning their family, everything concerning them, concerning their in, uh, academically, everything concerning them, concerning them physically, everything concerning them, concerning them economically, everything concerning them, concerning them religiously, everything concerning them, concerning them economically. That by this power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to be to their family. King of kings going to be free to their family affairs in the name of Jesus Christ. They will see 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 Jesus Christ in a new dimension. I want you to open your mouth, pray for them, pray for them, no problem. That by the power in the Lord of Jesus Christ, family causes, family causes will not be their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, family sin will not be their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. All things that look impossible in the life of the Pastor Femi and his wife, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor Femi and his family, in the life of Pastor that this is how we want to save you. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, God will pray to their life in the name of Jesus Christ. King of them will pray to their life in the name of Jesus Christ. They will share testimony. They will share testimony. A new life, a new, a new, a new way, a new leaf, a new thing God will do in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood of God, we open a new way for them. Lord of Lord, we open a new way for them. Lord of Lord, we open a new way for them. And the pastor family will share testimony. He is why we share reminding the congregation i'm in charge i'm the pastor here the congregation understand you are the pastor why telling us every now and then maybe that pastor has lost his voice 
Maybe that pastor has lost his control. Maybe that pastor has lost his authority. So it can happen too in a family where the man has probably lost his authority and lost his control through his attitude, through his behavior, and through his lifestyle and the kids reminding. That's why we want to check off scripture. How should husband and wife should relate? Many don't know that. They read that scripture, they read scripture, but their lives are opposite, diametrically opposed to the Bible that they carry. They preach it, but they don't live it. Like Pharisees that we study and scribes that we study yesterday. They teach, but they do not do what they teach. And that's hypocritical living that we find even in the church today. And so we're trusting God that this morning prayer, the four minutes that I'll be spending before I leave for work, um, I believe that is going to be a moment of self-examination. And please, if what I'm saying, and if what I'm reading in scripture applies to your life, and you discover that there are areas that you have done something you shouldn't have done, utter what you shouldn't have uttered, I think what God will expect, not me, what God will expect is humility, to make a change and to make a U-turn. God loves somebody oh, admitting yeah. admitting We want to thank God this morning because of what he's going to do. There's going to be an operation. There's going to be a sudden transformation in the life of many even this day. As many that will listen to this record later, their lives will be turned around. Situation will not remain the same in their life. Let's give thanks to God. Please open your mouth and worship the Lord. Yes, we thank you because you are God. This is like unto thee, O Lord. Among the gods, is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, thank you for this new day. We thank you for how you kept us throughout the night. And you brought us to this wonderful day. Father, we know that a lot of people went to bed yesterday, but this morning there are no more. Some woke up in the hospital. Some do not even know what is happening to them again. But Lord, we are here. We are woken up. We can raise our hands. We can raise our legs. Our uh, mouth will open. We can speak. We open. And you can say we worship you. We bless your name. We say glory and adoration. Let's give glory to your name, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, as we come today to look into the area our brother is talking now about our family we will do better father we pray that you will grant us access to your throne O oh lord in jesus name as we examine ourselves to do lord, any area that we need to be called that we need correction in our body father we pray that your spirit will work in us and correct us O oh lord in jesus name amen in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We want to uh, give thanks to God uh, on how God was so faithful in, uh, you know, my wife was just a child. And uh, what happened, she put to bed on Friday, although I put it, I posted it on the plaster store platform. I don't know if the discover is that some person did not even see it. Now, uh, how did it happen? On that same Friday, she left for work, even though she returned that same day. And uh, one of our brother, who happened to be my friend in the same group, were in the same group here, Ekwa group, and my very close friend. The wife put to bed uh, early hour of that Friday. That's around five. And uh, so I was at the hospital with him, whereas my own wife was at work. <laughs> I came to the house and I entered the house to I had to call my wife because I saw her miss and I discovered oh she was she was coming to the house. I said okay she could she come I'm at home and that's how she came and now she had been having a kind of uh, uh what do you call it all this small small label so we thought it was just uh, one of those pain and all that we never knew it was uh we, we labor for pet and all that but by the time we got to the maybe hospital where we are when we have registered, getting there, not too long. I mean, not too long, she put to bed. No stress, even the nurse, one of the nurses just said, sweetest delivery, I think something like that. Sweeter, okay, sweetest delivery. And mm -hmm. just smiling, and so it was amazing. No stress, no struggle, nothing like, okay, hey, please begin to pray oh, for this or oh, that one. Mm -mm. It was just, so I knew that God's hand was primarily on this. 
So I want us to give thanks to God for sparing the life of my wife's friend and uh, even the baby, and also my own, and also the baby. God has added to the family, and God has been faithful. Please, you want to thank God for my life and for my family. Let's give thanks to God, please. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness and answers to prayer. Mm -hmm. For the fulfillment of your words, Father, you take the way that in our sisters and our wives want to deliver, it will be like the Israelite women before the Hebrew women, before the midwife come, they already put to bed. Oh Lord, we adore your name for the fulfillment of your words. How you touched our sister, you helped her, she even went to work same day, coming home, just say, Let me go and and let's just get to the hospital and feel it funny. And the next thing is, baby is here. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you honor. Hallelujah. We give you adoration. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Father, we know that a lot of people spend thousands of naira, go through one operation, go through one, one labor, some labor for days before they finally get delivered. Oh, Lord, we worship your name for you and stand mm -hmm. for them. Oh, in the name. Great, by the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, Amen. We are going to pray this morning now. I might be a little bit hard or harsh on the men this morning. And so please, like I said, if the work comes to you heavily, just mm -hmm. take it like this, that this is the message the Lord will want us to hear this morning. So I'm reading from scripture. We were told in God's word, in First Peter chapter 3, in First Peter chapter 3, God's word was talking about how the men should dwell with their wives uh, in knowledge. And in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 3, the Bible says, For a soul to be without knowledge, it is not good. Oh, my father. So it means that we need knowledge to run our own. Aside anointing and power and vigor, we need knowledge. <laughs> And that's why this morning, many homes have been destroyed <laughs> because they lack knowledge. They lack knowledge of what the woman wants. They lack knowledge of what the woman is nagging about. They lack knowledge of what the woman is saying through eye contact and the rest. I read from scripture now, 1 Peter 3 verse 7. Likewise, ye husband, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor to the wife as unto the weaker vessel, as being heir together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. How many people pray and their prayers are not answered? Why? Because of the way they treat their wife. They pray and pray and pray. It's like heaven is closed against them. They are pastors and their leaders, and yet things are not working in their life. Why? Because of the way and the manner. The wife is not able to pray for them in her own heart. Reason is because the, the, the way the wife is being treated, the way the wife is being maltreated and the rest. And so you find such situation here. The Bible says we should dwell with them. So we want to pray for our men first and foremost, that the God of heaven will give us what we call recosite knowledge. Recosite knowledge, that is, the needed knowledge for us to run our own. You may say, what does that mean? Yeah, the way you run your own, I'd like you to know that it will be different. That's why I pity women who go about around their friends and be telling them, this is how we run our own. And then you want to use the formula of another family to run your own. You may crash or crash land. You may crash land completely. And then you will think it's village people that are after you. No, it is because that woman lacked knowledge or that man lacked knowledge. He goes home and he's, uh, he's drinking with his friend. And his friend is saying, this is how I treat my wife. This is how I talk to my wife. And you want to import that instead of following scripture. And you want to buy the idea that you see on Nollywood or Bollywood or Z World or Telemundo okay. that they show love. all those platonic and fake love that they display. And then you want to carry it to the You will just destroy the home completely. That's how people waste their home. They see something on social media. They want to come and purchase it. And the Bible is there. They have not purchased. We want to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, give our men requisite knowledge. Give our men requisite knowledge. Give our men requisite, if you understand what that means. Needed knowledge. Needed knowledge. Required knowledge to run their own. Shall we pray?
feel it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord God, I could seek knowledge is our love and portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, give us requisite knowledge in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. You can send me a text to be sure that we're listening, then I'll continue. I can't hear anybody uh, saying amen. But if I can see a message, I will continue. But it seems nobody is hearing. So, in Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Okay, Pastor Martin. Okay, so we are going to pray very quickly now. The next prayer point in that first Peter chapter three, in verse seven, in our said, "Likewise, you husband dwell with them according to knowledge." I will pray for knowledge this morning. We are going to pray after we have had the knowledge. We want to beg the Lord for wisdom. Now, wisdom. Now, wisdom is. You know, you are you are bringing both wisdom together. The scripture is saying that. In order to get in, get wisdom. After getting wisdom, you get understanding. So we have the application. The knowledge is there to apply the wisdom. But if the wisdom is not there, how do you apply the knowledge? How do you apply the knowledge you have gotten? So we want to beg the Lord that God will give all our men, all our husbands, knowledge, requisite wisdom, requisite wisdom. We saw the wisdom in Christ that the Pharisee couldn't touch him. They couldn't even hold him. And so we are praying and asking that God will bestow all our men, all our husbands with requisite wisdom. We shall have the needed wisdom to run the family, to run the own. Many men lack wisdom. And the Bible says if we lack it, we should ask of God. Let's ask of God. Let's ask of God. The reason why you find separation and divorce increasing. <laughs> it is not <laughs> or demon or village people are after some family some family either the man or the woman they lack wisdom how to talk they don't know how to reply their husband they don't know how to reply their wife they don't know some don't even know how to pacify their husband when they are angry some don't know how to pacify their wife when they are angry man that man lack wisdom that woman lack wisdom want to pray that god will bestow upon us so need wisdom to run our own. It's not enough to have anointing. You need wisdom. You need wisdom. If you have power without wisdom, you can misapply that with power. And that's why we're begging the Lord. The Lord will help us. Let's pray. Ah, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. So we're going to stay praying. We're not done. We're still going to pray. In that scripture, it said, giving honor unto the wife. We're going to pray the Lord will help us that this scripture will be real. We will give honor to our wife. What that means is that we will respect our wife. How do you respect your wife? Sometimes you need to listen to her area of subjection. There are men that don't listen to the husband at all. There are men that think they know it all. What will their wife advise them? Hey, are you aware that women are hypersensitive? A woman can sense danger before the husband. Yes, that's the truth. If you have learned and read and understood women generally, you will know that women are hypersensitive, highly sensitive. <coughs> as emotional as women can be, they are also hypersensitive. 
Blessed be that man that have a wife who is spiritually sensitive, whose antenna is very high. That man will be secure from danger. I am telling you the truth. That man will be secured from danger. And that's why it is important God is speaking to your wife. And you listen. Sometimes you look at this suggestion she has given. It's better than you. I do that. I do that. So I'm not telling you what I'm not doing. I do that. There are times I will see that the suggestion of my wife is much better than mine. And I have to take it. I have to accept it. That doesn't make me inferior to her. Not at all. It is a sign of pride. It is a sign of ego. It is a sign of eccentricity for a man not to accept corrections from the wife or not to accept subjection, good subjection from the wife as inspired by God. And so we want to pray God will help us as men that we will give honor to them, giving honor unto the wife. That's what scripture said, that we will give honor to our wife in the name of Jesus. What does it mean to give honor to them? To respect them. To give them a place in the home, to give them allowance to do, you know, to be projected. They, they are men. They will not even want their wife to talk at all. They just suppress. They say, in our family, in our culture, women don't talk. In our culture, women don't do this. And then they will suppress their wife. Their wife cannot talk. Everything they say, yes, ma, yes, sir, yes, ma, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. It's, uh, yes, if you marry, yes, 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 woman. If she cannot say anything, she's just saying yes, sir, to everything. That's not submission, no. That's Mumu. That's Mumu life. That's Mumu life. That's not submission. You may think, hey, this woman is submissive. She's always saying yes, yes, yes to everything. Even when you are going to hell, he's saying yes. You are going to destruction, he's saying yes. You are on your way to hell, he's saying yes. Uh, I want to go and do this, yes. No! That's not submission. You have caged that woman. You have put that woman in bondage. Want to pray and say, God, we forgive us as men wherever we are really, really going on. Let's beg the Lord that the Lord will show us mercy in the name of Christ. The Bible says here, giving honor unto the wife, giving regard, respect to your wife. That's it. Whether she's educated or not, give honor to her. That's scripture. Whether she has gone to university or not, give honor. It's for your good. It will prolong your own life. Let's talk to God in prayer. What I'm saying now is applicable to many, many, even in deeper life Bible church. I'm praying, we're asking the Lord, God, we have mercy. God, we have mercy. Many men lack knowledge. They don't read books. They don't understand how to run a home. Let's pray. It's more than bringing a woman to a home and producing children. You must have knowledge, knowledge of the woman you have married. And don't compare your own with anyone. Don't compare your own with any family. Every home has a formula. Every home has a formula. Understand the formula to run your home. And God will help you. Are you praying and talking? I told us this morning, I may be very hard on the men. I told us this morning, I may be very hard on our men. Yes, some people will listen to this later on YouTube. Let the Lord correct all the areas they have been leading the home and, you know, leading their wives and leading their family. Let the Lord do it. I pray. Go to prepare for work. Let's pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. This this verse of scripture, I don't know. I cannot exhaust it. This verse is so loaded. It said, "As unto the weaker verse, as the ears of the grace of life." Now, when the scriptures has been ears together of the grace of life, <laughs> there's a man. I can. I can. We can preach this as a message. He said, as being ears together of the grace of life. What does that mean? That, 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 in, that, the agenda of God, in the agenda of God, listen, oh, listen to this. Oh, in the agenda of God, the same inheritance that Christ has, he also purchased for the women. So we are, we are co here, joint heir with Christ. So that's what he's saying. And because we are joint heir with Christ, both the man, the woman, both the husband and the wife, then treat your wife with honor. Then treat your wife with respect. He's trying to give you reason why you need to treat your wife with regard, with honor, with respect. And he said that the, your prayers be not in that. That your prayers be not in that. 
as a man, if you just go out of the house angrily, you did not settle with your wife. Can I tell you that is dangerous? How about there's an accident on the road and you don't have the opportunity to repent and you die in that anger. That's empire direct. You know that now. You did not settle with her. You did not settle to the to the misunderstanding and here you go you just angrily enter your car and zoom off you can zoom off to hell like that you can zoom off to hell like that it is very dangerous that's why we need grace that's why we need the help of god as men that's why we need the assistance of god as men the responsibility laid on all is just more than giving command in the home we have a lot to do we are the gatekeeper of our own if anything go wrong with that family, the men should be held responsible. Many a time they accuse the women, and they will say that woman and wish. Now that woman caused the home to scatter. And many, the culture we are from, Africa generally, we accuse women too much. And then now, now that woman calls them, now that woman do this one, now that woman. And nobody will hold that man responsible. Many a time, they say it's that woman. They will ask the man is the gatekeeper of the home. The man is the gatekeeper. Have you read in the scripture in Genesis, when you enter a city, you see Abraham. You see the people they are gatekeepers. Have you ever read where you see a woman at the gate? No, it is the men that sit at the gate. Read, 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 read that Proverbs 31. Are you aware that that Proverbs 31, when people are reading it, they always talk about the, the woman, the woman, uh, Proverbs 31 woman. What of the Proverbs 31 man? I hope you know that. A proverb 31 man to entangle to proverb 31 woman. Yes, hear that for me now. It takes a proverb 31 man to entangle with proverb 31 woman. If there is a mismatch in the scripture, <laughs> what was the mismatch? The mismatch between Abigail and Naba. I'm telling you that was a mismatch. That woman was a wise woman, but the man was a foolish woman. And that injured the woman terribly. And that's why we're also going to pray as we close down for our young people. Pray for your own children. If you have children who are up to the age of marriage, if they are if they are girls, they will not settle for neighbor. They will not settle for foolish men. There are foolish men, who oh, I am telling you the truth, oh, there's nothing to, to apologize about that. There are neighbors on the streets. I cannot imagine a man laying hands on the wife and slap the wife. That's animalistic. That's demonic. That's devilish. Just during this childbearing of my wife, before she gave birth, as I look at the way she will be going through some pain, I'll be wondering, women, now, wow, you people are going through, what is all this? Sometimes I will be feeling, uh, not, I won't say guilt or guilt or condemnation, no. But I will just be feeling somehow, somehow, oh, as if it, it should not even happen. It, it, as if it should not even be pregnant in the first place because the pain will be so much and all that and, and sometimes we're like this is the end we're not there we end there we end there and all of that why because of the <laughs> things that are, <laughs> there are men who don't care they don't care <laughs> in the midst of pregnancy they can still flog <laughs> they can even flog that woman in the midst of pregnancy those are genealogy of neighbor those are generation of neighbor your your daughter will not marry neighbor your daughter will not settle down for neighbor. There are neighbors on the street. Are you aware that there are neighbors in the church? They come that they are born again, but they are born against. They are not born again. They are not saved. Let's pray and talk to God in prayer. Your son will not marry Delilah. Your son will not marry the daughters of Belia. Are you praying? Are you talking to God in prayer? Do you know your prayer can save your son and daughter? Please beg the Lord on behalf of your daughter and your son. There will be no mismatch. Abigail married a woman, a man that never favored her. No wonder, no wonder. Abigail married a man. Never was not a, was never, never the right person for Abigail. I tell you the truth. The woman was a wise woman. She was a bad woman. Unfortunately, she married a foolish man. Our children will not marry foolish men and foolish women. Please, over to Pastor Peter. I want to prepare for work and stone up. Pastor Peter, please. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, now we are going to pray. 
for the youth program that is coming up Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, that God will take charge of these our young ones. These are the foundations of the church. The elderly ones are dying, going home, going to glory. These young men are gradually taking over. over, 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 over. If, if the media are taking over our youth, then yeah, what is yeah, the hope yeah. of the church? That's why we are going to pray okay. that God will have mercy on our children, that God will touch our children and make them great children, as he has promised in the Bible, that our children will be great and they will challenge strangers at the gates. Shall we pray? Come, O Lord, our young to your hand. Children will be great as Jesus among the foolish ones that we go and do wrong things and things that we that that will not help them. Rather, these children will be great children, as you have promised us in your word, O Lord, in Jesus' name. As the Sabbath day, boring day and night, O Lord, nothing we say is getting older, but yet he's packing up his work schedule. He was just looking at the church, what am I going to leave when I go? O Lord, we pray that you will answer him and break upon all his effort, upon all his labor over this young one and arrest them and make them wonderful children like you have promised, O oh Lord, in your word, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are still going to pray. These young ones are uh, the people that we gradually take over from us, ourselves, in the homes. We are go growing older. Uh, like by his grace, I was 57 years last Monday on the 1st of May. I'm not growing smaller, I'm growing older. Now let's pray that God we help us touch this our children and make this our children wonderful children like he has promised. My brethren, I saw the children of some of our leaders in the church. It's not encouraging at all. Let's pray that God will have mercy in the place of wrath. Let's pray that God will remember mercy. On behalf of our children, let's pray for the mercy of God, that the mercy of God will work upon their lives. Shall we pray? I thank you, Father, we pray that in the place of wrath, you will remember mercy. On behalf of these children, Father, remember mercy. Oh Lord, remember mercy. Father God, remember mercy. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for our children. Oh Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that the devil will not scatter them, will not cause them to be children that will go up after other things and not mindful about the things of God. Father, we pray that you have mercy, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You see, when it comes to the area of children, I can use my own, uh, one of my leaders in the church here, very top leader in the church. Children are stay. Uh, we sing in the youth choir because we have the head knowledge. Are you born again? Yes. Are you sanctified? Yes. Are you baptized the Holy Spirit? Yes. We know the question that we ask. We know the answer to give them. But you know, God look beyond our physical. He look at the inward. Let's pray that God will have mercy upon these our children. Let's pray. In fact, uh, the senior girl now, she graduated. I think, I, think she's she's serving. Serving. I think she's serving now. But she refused to go for service because she was, um, uh, uh, she was a drug cartel. Uh, she finished, she refused to go for service. Even during COVID, she refused to come home. Throughout the COVID, she tells the daddy that they are busy. She's busy at work. She's busy, she's working. Let's pray that God will have mercy upon these children. That God will arrest the children of our leaders and bring them back on the knee. Shall we pray?
May then we pray that all the children of our leaders, you arrest them, you have the power to save them, you have the power to redeem them, you have the power to bring them back. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, whoever they are, they are not they're bigger than what you can handle, they are not stronger than what you can handle. Oh Lord, I pray that you will save them in your love, in your mercy, you brought the prodigal son back home. Father, we pray, all these are our prodigal daughters. Bring them back home. Bring them back from wherever they are. All our prodigal daughters, all our prodigal sons, bring them back, oh God. Bring them back, oh God. They must not perish. They must not die in the strange land. Oh God, I pray. By your mercy and by your power. The Bible says that the heart of the king is in the hand of God. Lord, you promised us in the book of Isaiah. You say you will save our children. Father, save our children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, Pastor Mike, please, you can take over. I have an emergency. My wife very could just die crossing the road. Let me quickly go on there. Uh, Assistant. Okay, sir. Let's um, continue to call upon God. Let's continue to pray. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. One thing I know is that no human being is beyond God's power. Paul the Apostle, he was a very terrible sinner. In fact, he himself said, I am the chief of sinners. But that chief of sinners, when he was going to Damascus, God met him. God apprehended him. If God could apprehend Paul, if God could save Paul, there is nobody God cannot save. We are going to pray in the next two minutes. We are going to call upon God, power of God, power of the living God, the God who has the ability to save, the God who has the ability to redeem, even the, my, the, 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 the captive of the mighty, where our children have become captives. Oh Lord, release them. The Bible says our Redeemer is strong. Father, redeem them from all captivity in the name of Jesus. Father, redeem all our children. Father, redeem all our children from wherever captivity. Oh God, I pray. Those who are in the captivity of sexual sin, those who are in the captivity of immorality, those who are in the captivity of religious, oh God, Father, those being religious, those who are in the captivity of fashion, those who are in the captivity of courtism, those who are in the captivity, oh God, of the world, those who are in one captivity or the other, those who have been captured, oh God, by sin, by flesh, those who have been wrapped up, oh Lord, deliver them. That was why Jesus died, deliver them. That was why the blood of Jesus was shed, deliver them. That was why Jesus came to the world, deliver them. Who oh God save them, who oh God reach, that, reach, reach out to them, the Bible says that the heart of the king is in the hands of God. Father, we pray, you have their heart. You are the owner of their heart. You are the owner of their life. Who oh God arrest them. Holy Spirit arrest them. Where they are, arrest them. Where they are, arrest them. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Over to you, Pastor Matthew. Let's continue in that mode. Let's pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. God will be to every family. Where we're supposed to be is not where we are. And the songwriter let me know there's still a place in the in the upper, in the upper, in the in the in the upper, in the upper area. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Pray for your wife. Mighty your Father, children. we come before you. Children, in call the upon name the name of Jesus. Lord. Holy there God. Righteous God, please occupy 
spiritually, materially, financially, with the past places to occupy and call upon the name of the Lord. In our family, power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will be the life of our children. God will open the we pray. God will open the wise. God will every intro, God will God be everything concerning, concerning your family. Let's call message. upon the name of the Lord. Oh God, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Financially, there will be in the name of Jesus. Financially, there will be great. Spiritually, there will be great. Oh, the devil would have a lot of our lives. Father, we pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Oh let's God, call upon the name of the Lord. Families, let's call upon oh God, the name of the Lord. Upside down. Upside down. Blood, Jesus Families Christ. that are almost God scattering. Is going to Families to that the devil, oh God, God is going to be to my into. family. God Only is going to be with your wife. God is going to be in the name of Jesus. Also, Jesus. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call Show upon the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, intervene in those families. In Jesus' oh Lord, name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will reposition our family this morning by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, I have a family that I've been correct, I've been correcting that the way the uh, the spouse is acting is not the best. And then they need to adjust. When the Bible says one plus one is one. Then where the husband has a car, the car belongs to the wife. Where the wife has a car, the car belongs to the husband. You mean what I mean? It's for both of them, not that they are going to be claiming authority. Yes, Pastor, uh, Pastor uh, Morewa has taught us a lot of things about, about men and uh, about a woman. But where there's no unity, where there's differences, what are you going to do? I've seen family. Uh, I like mentioning names so that maybe Pastor uh, Mother was telling us about it. We have a family. I, I, I don't want us to look at them as unbelievers, but it, it's a sample that we can emulate and then uh, we can bring the godly standard we understand. Look at the uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus. Look at Allah in their family. Everybody knows the woman that he has money, and by the power and the blood of Jesus, you don't see differences. Uh, a lot of things I've read about, I've heard, and I've read about her, about the humility to the husband. Yes, we have family whereby the husband is. Uh, is is blessed, and they, they take uh, God is uh, he take the 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 position of the head in the family, but no matter what it may be in biblical law, one plus one is what is one. Yeah. Whereby the wife asked the car, and then they started telling the husband, "No, this car, I know how I suffer for it." Don't use it in that way. Don't do that. Or why by the husband have a car? The husband can carry colleague at the place of work. But why come to the wife? The wife have no access to the car because of the way the car is named, because of the way the car uh, is. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, in your family, in my family, we will take unity as a pillar of building the home in Jesus' name. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Mighty Father, the new wife, the we husband, come before the you in the name of Jesus. We pray you will the bind wife, our the husband together don't know where it's going. the God of love. The wife cannot say, I mean, bind the husband our say, families together with the God of love. Wife. Let's call Father, upon the bind our husband. family together but in the unity. Wife does not even know. Oh Lord, he bind our family together. At all. Anything, Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, that has scattered God our family, that has separated between husband and wife. And by the power of the Lord, we will be cut off that cord. We will bind our families together. Oh Lord, bind our family. Oh Lord, bind our family. God will Lord, make our family in the name of Jesus. God, 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 God,
surrender our family your family unto the, the umbrella of the mercy of the Lord. I surrender my family unto the umbrella of the mercy of the Lord. That whatever that is going wrong, King or King Lord, 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 by the Father and the Blood Lord, you will uphold in every family in the name of the Lord. And the real one plus one will be one. The real one plus one in the marriage will be one. Yeah, everyone of us need correction to be done in the go and do this in the name of Jesus Christ. That nothing to that. So be, you say, my wife will bring us together. I mean, don't do this mistake. It's very difficult. Yes, because the world will act in the name of of Jesus. Bring our families together. It's very difficult because you are doing a lot of things, but it's like the wife is going to another direction. And then it's only to come under the law of one plus one is that the family becomes problem. And this is what is killing a lot of families. This is what is killing a lot of families. We will not bind our families together. We will bind our families together. There will be unity, there will be transparency in the life of the people. We will not bind our families together. We will not bind our families together in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have been engaging in things, and I told us yes. by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this December will not be the same. Amen. Every one of us we are going to share testimony. And why I mean it? God will refocus us. Amen. God will open our eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will open the eyes of our leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. God Amen. will open the eyes of the of the of the of the of the of the members in the name of Jesus Christ. When Amen. they see the glory of the Lord, they will come into into the house of the Lord. When they see the glory of the Lord, they will join the prayer meeting. But because there's nothing to able to say, this this family, they are children of God. That's what is causing problem. As a result of that, we we offered uh, Pastor Mike this morning by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing is on a lot thing is limited in the cup of the Lord. Uh, as the year is running out, we are getting to almost getting to the half of the year now. Can you tell us what you want us to pray for on your behalf that this year you want to share the testimony? Let's go there, but Pastor Mike. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I, I'm looking up to God for. A whole lot of things, um, ranging from my own personal needs to the needs of my entire family. Um, God has God has so destined my family. We are supposed to have gone past, past the level family. we are now, and the level we are now is not really where we should be. First and foremost, I wanted to pray that God will open the door, the door, number one, to fruitfulness. Number two, God will open the door, the door to fruitfulness financially. God will open the door. The door, uh, let me chip in this one. I have been trying to travel abroad and I've been doing a whole lot of things. At a time, my passport is not coming out. In fact, I've even lost hope on it because at a time, they will say there is no paper. At another time, they will say, just one excuse or the other. So um, I want you to also pray that God Almighty will bring out my passport and that of my wife, God will release it wherever it is. Whatever is in it, the Lord will remove that yoke, that um, force, whatever it is, the Lord will blow it out. And that that passport will be released to us. And other documentations that we need to do, that God will perfect it. Then for my own family, I want you to pray. I have brothers. I have sisters, as I've told you, the level we are now is not where we should be. I know it. I want you to pray that whatever is limiting every member of my family, my brother, my sisters, that God will break the yoke, that Amen. God will release every member of my family to the level God wants us to be. These are many more. 
And then those who are yet to be converted among them, our God will save them. That's my prayer. Yeah. Let's call yeah. upon the name of the Lord. God is going to remove from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Or in your family, you are, are you the first one? Why do you want to be different? Yeah? Is it only you, you are going to make it? But by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. A breakthrough that has never happened in the generation. A big thing that has never happened in his family. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. But the power and the blood of the Almighty Father is going to open way in the name of Jesus Christ. All of the let's call upon the name of the Lord. All of the the glory of the Almighty God, God is going to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that the door of mercy, the door of mercy, God will send upon the family in the name of Jesus Christ. That by December we will have the reason to glorify the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. thing that is not relevant that want to be a disturbance. Imagine, just on the paper. Let me say there's no paper. Imagine. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all instances, God is going to God is going to remove in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for our pastor that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, since from this moment, anywhere he goes, and why in this thing are the will of the Lord. For promotion is the way of the Lord. And the Bible lets me know that the promotion does not come from the north, either from the south, or the east, or the west, but it comes from above. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, promotion will come upon this family in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. We may not mention all the pastors Amen. call back. I want you to know that we have covered everything, including the salvation of the family, uh, the extended family, and also uh, me, all of that thing. That is included. Then, 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 but then, I want then, to then, bring then, something then, into us. Man, many of us, 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 God will send help there from there in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's Amen. Call, upon, call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon sometimes when we, the, the thought of man is not the thought of God. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. That by the power of the Lord, of Lord the when Lord. they think that there is no help, when they think when they yeah, thought that there's family, God will bring every in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ of as ABC, of as of it is ABC, of because of that, our brother said, he said, of yes, I know we are eating, we are eating, we are drinking, we are children, I did, but I know we are, we yeah. have more potential Jesus. To, go to, go over, of to go to in upper, the upper place. Jesus. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the in power the in the blood of Jesus, whatever may be the strategy of devil, whatever may be weakness, whatever may be whatever may be an instance, by the power in the blood of Jesus, who go is of air power, the name of the Jesus, who go is of air power, the name of the Jesus, whatever may be the obstacle by the power in the name of Jesus, God is going to in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ah, we by the power and the blood of Jesus. I don't know one of, one of any of our pastor that is on the on, on the online. Uh, but one of any of our pastor we help us run about it. And then I want to tell Pastor Mike in case. You are still having a situation about pastor, your passport. Pastor, 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 pastor. Let me know. I will direct you to somebody uh, uh, which, which I know. We, 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 we do all the necessary payment. Uh, the password will come out. Is somebody I can undo. Is somebody that I can talk to. And the Almighty God is going to help us in Jesus' name. In case Amen. there is a challenge about the coming out of the passport. I know sometimes when people you are not expecting a uh, cause uh, uh, problem like it's only difficult for us to say okay 
uh, I will trust this person, but by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to do it in Jesus' name. So Amen. we have three uh, uh, challenges about the printing out of the uh, uh, please let me know. Uh, among our pastors, who is on the line, please? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name for your love and your kindness toward us. Oh, thank you for the gift of life. We adore your name for how you have helped us this morning.